Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. My 2011 GT is currently lowered on BMR springs, but I'm still using the stock shocks and struts. I was looking for something more adjustable and also to lower the car a little bit more. Hit up my buddy Josh from Rytec. He brought this coilover system today and actually came out to help us install it. What we're working with here is our HQ series coilovers for the 2005 and up Mustangs. Uh, these are a monotube, fox racing, shock and strut combination. Basically a direct bolt-on for the car. And the shocks and struts are fully adjustable? These right here are rebound adjustable shocks. Uh, basically, you're going to have a really nice ride, but a lot of performance with it. Okay, what kind of spring rates am I looking at here? These right here in the front, we're using a 325, uh, and on the back, we're using a 225. And tell us about the end links that are included in the kit. These right here are designed to bolt up directly to the strut and the factory sway bar. Okay, so the stock ones won't work? Correct, yep. These right here bolt directly up to our piece. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Excellent, let's get started. All right. For this installation, you'll need a jack-in, jack stands, or a lift and pull jack half inch impact or half inch ratchet, 3 8 ratchet, 7 8 socket, 3 quarter socket, 18 millimeter socket, 16 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, swivel, 6 inch extension, 7 8 wrench, 3 quarter wrench, 19 millimeter wrench, 18 millimeter wrench, 17 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, panel removal tool, hammer, cutting wheel, grinding bit, T10 Torx bit, flashlight, measuring tape, and safety glasses. It must be my lucky day. Not only did Josh from Rytec come out, he actually insists on doing the installation. So he's going to handle the wrenching. I'm going to explain what we're doing. We're going to start by disconnecting the sway bar from the factory strut. You want to use a wrench to hold the back of the sway bar where you move the nut from the front. Now remove the bolt that holds the brake hose to the back of the strut. Now we're going to move the two bolts that hold the strut to the factory spindle. You want to make sure you support the control arm before you do this because it will separate. To remove the strut from the car, you're going to remove the four 13mm nuts on the strut tower. As you remove the last one, make sure you are holding onto the strut because it will fall out. You can see the Ride Tech versus our stock suspension with the BMR springs. You can see the build quality obviously is a huge difference. The biggest difference with these two is weight. I mean, between the two of them, it's definitely a several pound weight savings with the coilovers. Nice thing too, you don't need anything off your factory pieces. You put this aside, the assembly goes in as one piece. One thing you're going to watch whenever you're installing it, the sway bar tab is going to point towards the back of the car. The harbor is a tight fit in the plates. You can actually thread them in from the bottom. That'll create studs, put the studs up through your shock tower. You can get a little bit of help with this section. It's a little bit easier too. You want to get a little bit of help lining it up. Now we're going to move the other side of the sway bar end link since our Ride Tech kit includes new sway bar end links that are designed to work with their struts. This is the end link we include with our kit. It's already pre-adjusted for your car, so all you have to do is install it. We're going to reattach the spindle to the new strut. Uh, we're going to reuse the factory lower bolt to mount it up, but we're going to use this upper uh, offset bolt to mount the upper piece. This is right here is how you'll set your camera. Now that we have the strut bolted to our spindle, we're going to tighten everything up, tighten up the sway bar, reattach the brake line, and move on to the other side. Right here, we're just going to mount the brake line tab onto the, onto the strut body. Now we're going to tighten the hardware at the shock tower. We went ahead and pulled out the carpet and the trunk. But now we're going to remove these side panels here so we have access to the shock towers. Now 
we're going to start by removing the retaining nut that holds the shock to our trunk floor. Now we're going to support the rear so we can remove our factory sway bar. Swing that down. Now we can remove the shocks. So right here on this lip, we have to clearance it for it so the shock actually doesn't hit it. Just got a little bit, of you, a little bit you gotta grind off there. This right here, we use the thick spacer on the inside and you go with the small spacer on the outside. Now you can tighten down the bolt in the trunk and repeat the process on the other side. And our installation is finished. Now we can put our wheels back on the car, we'll put it back on the ground and check our ride height. The ride tech shocks and springs do come preset on the, uh, on the shocks, but you'll want to check the ride height as soon as you get them installed and adjust from there. The Ride Tech HQs were exactly what I was looking for for my 2011. They gave me the ride height I was looking for, plus the ability to adjust it as well as dampen the shocks. You said these are available for the 05 through 14. What other models are available now? Anything else? Right now we're working on the uh, 79 through 93. Uh, the 94 through 04 is coming as well. Okay, excellent. Um, installation should take you around three to four hours. You'll be back on the road in no time.